Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. Now before we get into the actual video, I have pre-filmed quite a few of the videos that have been going up recently, and I just wanted to go ahead and come out here. I've been talking a lot about this on Twitter and of course on Instagram, but it goes without saying, Black Lives Matter. And what is happening around our country specifically is... It's, it's a bunch of feelings boiling over, and <laughs> rightfully so. Rightfully so. And I just want to say that, of course, I've never experienced what it's going to be like to be black in America. While I am Hispanic, I'm very white passing. I'm pale as hell. So, of course, I do benefit from white privilege. Of course I do. And um, I just think it's our duty right now to do everything we can to support those who are pushing back against these. So in the description box and in the first comment, I have um, a list. This is from Bucket Listers, which I follow on Instagram. They put together a list of organizations you can donate to. I know, um, I think the Minnesota Freedom Fund, they were overrun, <laughs> thankfully so, with donations, and so they're trying to push donations elsewhere. But this is a long list of organizations you can donate to if you have the, the means to do so. Please don't feel obligated to donate if you do not have the funds to do so. I had $50. I donated directly to the George Floyd Memorial Fund, which goes straight to his family. Um, you can also donate directly to Black Lives Matter, National Bailout, The Bail Project, Campaign Zero, Reclaim the Black, the National Bail Fund Network, and then there's also a list of um, city-specific organizations if you want to donate something local to your city. Um, so I'm going to have that down below, and I just want to say, be mindful. And I guess keep an eye out for those who are either not speaking up at all or are only speaking up about the looting and the vandalism because to me it, it speaks mounds if you're quiet about people being horribly murdered in the streets and you're not saying and you're not saying anything about that but you're gonna be like oh but target what about target like they'll never recover there's hmm. so that's all i'm gonna say about that but uh, if you want to see, I've been trying to keep up. It's it's really hard on Twitter because there's so much misinformation out there. But I've been retweeting and posting as I can on Instagram and on Twitter. So make sure you follow me there if you haven't already. Now, this seems, honestly, I, I thought about not doing a BWOW this week um, because I have not really been paying attention to makeup. If I'm being honest, there's been other things to look at. But... I know a lot of people, this is like the one show, show, the one series on my channel so many people look forward to and watch and it gives them like a sense of like normalcy during these times. So I wanted to keep doing it for that. Let's go pull up trend mood. So I don't know what the heck this is. It looks like a hot mess is what it looks like. This is from King Queen Beauty Shop. The Brazilian Carnival palette, these, I never really understood the hype around like these big palettes with like a bajillion shades in them. I think, what was it, uh, there was a brand that had like an 88 or 188 palette that like was big back in like 2015 YouTube, but it was just so big and there were so many options, I had no idea how people used them really. And this just reminds me of that, except there's not even like a cohesive like color story here. So yeah, I really don't get what the hype of this is and I don't know. It's also $50. I mean, you get a lot of shades, but like the shades are like this big, like, really? Come on. Ooh, so Marc Jacobs is coming out with a new mascara. Now, okay, back when I was trying higher end mascaras, the Marc Jacobs Noir, was it Velvet Noir, Black Noir <laughs> mascara was incredible. It was way too expensive. It, it was just really good though. I, I think I got it twice. I got like one mini and then I actually bought one, but it's a great mascara. I just can't justify like that expensive of a mascara purchase when I know the Essence Lash Princess works just as well. So part of me is just curious, you know, curiosity killed the cat. But I don't know, how much is this? Probably the same, $27, yeah, uh, at least not right now, no. That being said, if I could get a sample of this or a mini one of this, I'd probably do that just because I liked the first one so much. What is Honor of Kings? I have to look that up. Is it an anime? Is it a game? But I guess Mac is collabing with it. <laughs> so it looks like some lipsticks, a highlighter, or oh, it looks like lipsticks and highlighters based off of the characters from this. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's anime or if it's a game. It kind of looks like a game. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they look kind of cool, but we all know how Mac is. <laughs> I keep getting flashbacks to the Boom Boom Bloom collection. Like, come on. It's... Yeah, so I'm gonna stay far away from anything. <laughs> That's, you know, not one of Mac's tried and true original releases, you know? Okay, I don't know how these would work. I mean, part of me really wants to try them out, but like the other part of me is like, hmm. These are eyeshadow pens. They're cream to powder from Maybelline. And I'm kind of curious about like the light bright shades because you know, I'm always looking for something to like, uh, do as well as my coveted Stila Glitter and Glows. I don't know if this is that. I mean, looking at the swatches, they look kind of like so-so at best, but I'm kind of interested. And they're $6.99 each. That's, that's a little... Mm -mm. I don't know. And it seems like there are some satins or like almost matte and there's some shimmers. I don't think I would go for those. I'd probably just go for a shimmer, just knowing how I like to use, you know, liquid shadows like this. So I guess the makeup eraser came out with a new smaller set, which is seven of them together. So you can use like one every day and then wash it for a week. I think that's so cute. Um, I actually, I tried to buy, what were they? It was like halos. They were like knockoffs of the halo face cleanser things on Amazon. But then um, I don't know what happened with the shipper or anything, but my order got canceled and it was just I had to like push for a refund because I didn't get anything. So I, I haven't tried to pick up something since then, but I do have a very mini, like a baby version of the makeup eraser and it does work. So this is something I actually would love to like invest in. So I would really like to see this set of seven. I'd love to see it in black because I would actually use it. I could use them for a week and then wash them. That's how often I do laundry. I love this idea. <gasps> body scrub okay so this uh i'm so on the fence about this because i don't know how it's gonna be the boom boom cream is such a nice smelling lotion <laughs> the scent is amazing but the lotion itself is just like meh love the scent now i did try the body wash from this i got like a mini for traveling last year the body wash sucked <laughs> like it wasn't good it didn't smell anything like the lotion it uh didn't I mean it didn't smell like anything like it ugh, I really wanted like a condensed version of the scent and I wanted it to be long lasting and that's not what it was you barely smelled it in the shower then afterwards even you were clean but you, it wasn't any lingering scent of the boom boom kind of scent that being said I love body scrubs <laughs> and they're coming out with a boom boom body scrub and I kind of want to try it but see I don't know I would definitely try to get a sample of this but like outright i don't know how it would be i don't know what do you guys think ah okay so i didn't talk about this last time so let's talk about this new naked palette now this is called the naked ultraviolet palette but it's not the that's not violet <laughs> first of all it's not violet second of all it's more it's less than half purple like i'm kind of shocked they put that many neutrals in this palette like if you were gonna go for a purple palette, do a purple palette, you know? But this, I don't know. It just looks kind of, yeah. I mean, and that's coming from me who's not a purple person, but I've heard like comments, some of you guys reaching out saying that this isn't really what you're looking for in a purple palette either. And even if you like purple. So I don't know. I feel like Urban Decay does, doesn't really know what their aesthetic is anymore. They're kind of just going with the Naked series because it's a series that's been successful and they're really just kind of throwing anything at the wall to see what sticks. That being said, where's my Naked Green palette? My Naked Forest palette? My Naked Earth palette? I want greens. <laughs> greens. Uh, that being said, I doubt we're going to see that. And this is just kind of like a, a meh palette. All right, so Morphe is coming out with the Pride collection, and I guess now that it's officially Pride Month, we're going to be seeing everyone and their mother come out with Pride-themed things. And this just looks mad. The brushes are just... Eh. I've got so much experience with Morphe brushes. They're legitimately the definition of hit or miss. I've got some Morphe brushes that have lasted a long time and actually work well, but the, that's like 30% of the brushes I've tried. More than half of the brushes I've tried from Morphe have been absolute crap. So I don't like recommending them unless it's like the specific brush that I'm using. Um, I'm okay, so I'm thinking of 
I'm trying to get a better webcam because I want to do a live get ready with me. You guys have asked me to talk about my favorite makeup brushes, but I feel like with my current setup, the webcam that I have to use to stream is not as nice quality as this is. And I want to do it as a live stream so you guys can ask questions and stuff. So I'm waiting to do that live stream until I can maybe get a better webcam. Fingers crossed. Um, that way I can actually tell you exactly what Morphe brushes that I use. Because I really don't want to recommend any others because Morphe is just, well A, they're a shady ass company. And B, only some of their products work. Like, I mean, you can throw anything against the wall and a couple of things will stick. But I want to be specific on exactly what I'm saying I use and recommend. Uh, okay, along with that, the palette just looks like a hot mess. Uh, it's just a bunch of shimmery shades. Yeah, whoa, rainbow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we all know how, what happens with Morphe shadows, especially limited edition items. So not really looking into any of that. So like this is what we're going to be seeing from everyone for Pride. Like these aren't even new products from NYX. They're literally just repackaging their rainbow products into rainbow packaging. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I haven't participated in Pride recently. I went to Pride every year I was in college down in DC. I am bi, if you didn't know. But um, yeah, I don't know. For me, I mean, it's interesting if they if products, if companies come out with an actual new products and actually like, I like to see what companies are doing behind the scenes too. Like, are you donating to like the Trevor Project? Are you donating, doing any outreach in your community? I don't like to see just packages like repackaged or just old products just repackaged. Like, bam, look, it's new. It's kind of like what a bunch of brands did the Chinese New Year. Like they just took, like they forgot about it and they just took pack like products they already had and they repackaged it in red. Like a little bit more effort is going to be required. A little. All right, now, this I actually, like, I kind of hated myself for this, but I saw this and I, like, considered it. These are new palettes from YSL. <laughs> These are Couture Color Clutches, which, damn it, I love that concept. That's, it's really, it's really cute. It's 10 shadows, um, you get mattes and you get shimmers, and it's two different palettes. One is very, like, blue green red pinky and then the other one is like purple pink brown yellow i would be more to sit in the top one probably the blue green red but i like i like how these look i mean the price is going to be disgusting i know that and i've only owned a couple of ysl products one i'm actually wearing on my lips right now one of their lip stains but i've never tried their eyeshadows but this is like the first product i saw and i was like hmm kind of feeling it this is something else i actually saw and i was kind of surprised and like really intrigued by so milani is coming out with a new make it last spray which i've tried their make it lasts um the original is one of my favorites i have two unopened <laughs> in my backup drawer right now i've tried their matte spray the first time i tried it it was trash and didn't really work that well i've been using it recently and it's been working but then again i've been stuck in my house so i haven't been like testing it like through a commute at the office but then again, my attic is pretty hot. So um, that one's still up in the air. But this one, they're coming out with the Make It Last sunscreen version, which is SPF 30. It's pretty cool for like a setting spray. Anyway, the Make It Last sun sunscreen setting spray with SPF 30, micro mist setting spray to protect your skin from sun exposure and environmental aggressors. This one's a bit more expensive, it's $13.99. But it's supposed to be a sheer, non-sticky formula, leave skin with a dewy, hydrated finish, and up to 16-hour wear with SPF 30. I think that's pretty cool. That's like a perfect summer release, a nice addition to their Make It Last line. Props to Milani. I think this is a great release. I'm excited to try it out. So Fenty is coming out with these uh, lip glossy kind of things. These are um, slip shines. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Well, they're sheer shiny lipsticks. That's not my kind of formula, not what I'm really into, so I'm probably not gonna be looking into trying any of those. Now on the flip side, something that uh, could technically be repackaged in different colors and sold again, and I'd be okay with, um, are good makeup brushes. Cause good makeup brushes are an investment. You could use them for years. And if you want a different color or something for something you're gonna be reaching for every day, so be it. This is the Pride 2020 release from Sigma, and I love Sigma brushes, especially this brush in particular, the F80. It's been a favorite of a lot of YouTubers, and this packaging is actually really cool. <laughs> I 
when did I get the last one? I actually bought an F80 off of Amazon, I think a year and a half ago. And then I don't know if that was an, a real one because it kind of fell apart, but then Sigma like replaced it fairly quickly because they do have a two year warranty on their brushes. So I think that's great. They stand behind their product. So I would recommend picking this up if you're interested in picking up a brush. Sigma is a bit pricier than I guess you would mainly see, but honestly, like nowadays, it's not as pricey. Like this, this is limited edition. So how much is it? $25. I think normally it's 20. Uh, so that's really not bad for a brush that you can use for years. And if you use it every day. So Kaleidos Makeup is coming out with this new collection. It's the Escape Collection. So the palette itself, eh, I mean, I'm not feeling called towards it in any way, but yeah, the swatches look really pretty, but like looking at the palette, like I don't know what I would do with it. You've got some random bright pops of color. I don't know. I'd have to actually sit down and like work with it, but um, I love the packaging for their highlighters. I actually really want to try a highlighter from them. Everyone raves about their highlighters. So they've got those highlighters. They've got like these little blush duos, which look adorable. Ooh, I kind of want a blush duo. But yeah, I don't know if I'll be placing an order anytime soon, but the only thing I'm probably interested in are going to be like the highlighters and like maybe that blush duo. Ooh, okay. So something else I actually saw that was, I thought was adorable and I actually really want to pick these up. Probably not anytime soon, so I hope they're not limited edition. This is from BH Cosmetics and they came out with the Weekend Vibes collection. So there's two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is called Avocado Toast and the second one is called Mimosa. And Avocado Toast is, of course, like a green brownie kind of neutrally ish palette. And then the Mimosa is like this beautiful, like, sunsetty pink orangey palette. But it looks, it looks different in this picture. It looks a little different from what you see in other sunset palettes, right? And then they came out with, um, a like bronzing palette which is called belgian waffle and then they've got a blush palette called uh, bellini this whole collection is adorable and i want all of it <laughs> i literally want all of it it's so cute i want the palettes i love the way that the contour and uh, the bronzing palette looks and i love the looks of that blush palette like this to me is just a, a great summer release it looks adorable i uh, i can't wait to try it out all right, so ABH is coming out with minis of their Dewy Set Setting Spray. I saw the original Dewy Set in like an Ulta store months and months ago, and I sprayed it and it's literally like glitter, just glitter everywhere. So I didn't buy it. I was not going to pick it up. So I'm not gonna get the minis. I don't know what these other two, looks like there's a pineapple. Oh, I don't like pineapple. And a orange one. I don't know if they're scented or not, but hmm. Or is it mango? Is that why there's mangoes in the picture? Duh, Monica. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not interested in these, so I'm, I'm not gonna get them. The minis are probably overpriced as hell. Okay, and I think that's where we're gonna leave it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you can, check out the links that I will have in the description box and the first comment. Again, don't feel pressure to donate. Just do what you can. There's also um, petitions you can sign as well if you don't have the means to donate or go out and actually protest either. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.